What's up, Kyle McGrath, and it's top play time from round five. Mike Shaver's making his first ever appearance on the top 10, intercepting this pass from Farino and converting from the flex in transition. Way to go, rookie. According to Google, the field of view for an owl is about 110 degrees. Greg Ashton was using all 110, feeding Phil Cavalcani with this no-look pass from the flex. Scott Kennedy's at number eight, blocking shots as usual. Planking was a pretty cool fad. We'll call this nimble jacking. Matt Sola has been hearing a lot of Rookie of the Year chatter as of late and continues to back it up. He's here at number seven, connecting on a chrono from the second ring. Nick DeLuca and the rest of his goal zone crew hit some turbulence this round, so he had to improvise with some follow-up footwork. That was definitely cooler than a dunk. In my opinion, Kevin Glover may be the front runner for the league MVP. With the legends down big in the third, KG connected on three ring shots from the flex to spark the comeback. Apparently, he doesn't miss from that side of the flex. Vince Rode has no regard for his body here as he lays out full extension to save this four point shot. Respect. Jared O'Donnell's newest weapon, mind control. Clark, run away like I passed it and I'll just make this shot real quick. Uh, thanks. A top 10 first, Cronation. The entire throwback's defense is at number two, directing air traffic away from the chamber, and most importantly, the goal zone. They held a Jet Sets offense that's averaging 127 points per game to only 75 points, 12 in the first period alone, and only two dunks all game. Shutdown status. League leading scorer Luke Dugan's back at number one for the first time this season. Quick breakdown. Set shot, 20 yards, cleared through a 20 inch diameter ring. Boom. To join the revolution, visit chronum.com. Change the game.